economically, this would be a huge asset to our community. First on Fox, Beauty and the Basin, the plan to take this naturally beautiful body of water and turn it into something much bigger and more beautiful, all to rev up the economy in Southwest Florida's largest city. Hi, I'm Patrick Nolan. And I'm Amy Wegman. For your corners, Katie Jones showing you what's in store for Bimini Basin, nestled off of Cape Coral Parkway, just west of Coronado. Here at Four Freedoms Park would be the centerpiece of the project that city leaders say will bring a big economic boost and make Cape Coral a top vacation destination. This empty plot of land, bordered by water and beauty, is the blank canvas for the Bimini Basin project. Councilwoman Raina Erbrick says it's a perfect location for Cape Coral to grow. The ability to attract the kind of businesses we're looking for, those fun, you know, restaurants that everyone wants to go to and hang out at, especially along the waterfront, a boardwalk. You could imagine a boardwalk where you could go down and stroll and do some boutique shopping. Design team members from the University of South Florida met with community leaders and picked their brains about what this city needs to become a prime place to travel and an economic powerhouse. More and more processes are including public engagement and getting the public um, and their communities really engaged in the processes that are taking place uh, so that these are the communities that they want to live in, stay in, um, either raise families in, retire in. And the now 20 year old vision is coming close. Closer to reality. Cape Coral citizens having a chance to weigh in on what they'd like to see before a final design is drawn. Councilwoman Erbrick says the possibilities for the area are endless for shops, restaurants, and residential living. And while the Bimini Basin project is in the spotlight right now, Erbrick wants the community to know other city issues haven't been put on the back burner. We are still working on sidewalks and roads and the utilities and the the water and sewer and trying to keep taxes down and, and drawing. We're still working all those things. This is just a component of the whole big picture. The design team will present plans to the public in March, and city leaders say construction could start in the next two to three years. Reporting in Cape Coral tonight, Katie Jones, Fox 4, in your corner.